You threatened to climb inside of him and build a nest. Well, out of since line, when was um, Simon the alien? Not even sure that's physically possible. So instead of suspending them like she should, Principal Reuben, played by Wendy Malick, instead reveals that she's a slightly creepy chipmunk fan and cuts a deal with them to sing in some contests, which, if they win, could save their music program. Cutting back to Ian and the Chipettes, we see them making references to another horrible movie that they can't actually name because it's owned by Disney, and they're uptight like that. What? That movie is called Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Yeah, we know. And guess what? You're reviewing it. What? Yeah. Turns out someone thought your show needed a bit more feminine flair. Yay! So I set something up with the boss for you. By the way, now we're even. Buh bye bye I hate that guy. Ian tricks the Chipettes into breaking into an uninhabited luxury apartment room, and we see that the movie had to get one of their college interns to hold the camera for a while. Jeez, I think I'm gonna puke! Then the camera fades out, as if they knew it should have skipped theaters, and they were making room for a commercial. Is your syndication ruled by the male demographic? Well, help join our Pink Ribbon campaign to help make programming Fit for the what else is on? Hang on, let me check. Was making Ooh, large Meerkat Manor. Territory. Then Alvin breaks the TV, but don't worry, there are no actual Daddy, repercussions from it. What was school like for you? Oh no. Not a flashback! <laughs> ah, thanks, Lee. Don't mention it. So yeah, Toby is a serious loser with self-esteem issues and no one cares. Next! The chipmunks hide in a toilet to try to escape their second day of school. And I don't blame them. Oh look, now they're referencing a better movie. Alvin shows off his ability to catch objects several times his size. And Big Bad What's-His-Name decides that the monks should join the football team. Does no one else notice the impracticalities of this? Are you trying to crush him? If so, then I'm all for it, but if not, what the heck are you thinking having him join the football team? I can't stand this passive-aggressive behavior from Alvin right here. He may as well be going, Please, please, can I join the football team so I can win popularity that I don't need thus sacrificing my obligations to the group? Please? Hello? Ian can't seem to find any takers for the chipettes. Surprise, surprise. But comes up with a plan to send them to the same school as the chipmunks to upstage them personally. So yeah, Alvin is a sellout, and Simon needs to give these guys a well-deserved lesson. Are you going to pick that up? Are you going to make me? <laughs> oh, contraire, mon frere. I'm just going to elegantly show you how it's done. Off the glass. And you call yourself a jock. How can I please? <laughs> Go ahead. Burn! And now, the part that was on all of the previews for this movie. Oh come on, they look just like you. Do you go through this routine in the morning every time you look in the mirror? That's not right. You guys ready to go? Because I got a lot of important stuff to do at home. Oh, what? You must be there Is your party. dark mage not at level oh, 80 I, yet? I... Toby? Oh no! A female thing! Must <laughs> break things! So Ian shows up and tries to steal the spotlight from the chipmunks by having the chipettes sing right then and there. Uh, is he gonna be alright? Hopefully not. All right, here's what I'm so going Dr. To Rubin agrees to have a sing-off later that week between the two groups to see who will sing in the music contest. In your face. Alvin and Simon have a fight because Alvin is a sellout, and Theodore again looks to this ignoramus for consolation. <laughs> hey, you didn't learn the first time. Alvin tries to warn Brittany about Ian, but she doesn't listen. He's the devil. He doesn't have a heart. 
Well oh, put. And one of the things he did. We are so going to destroy those chipmunks. I don't want to destroy them. Me neither. I just want to hang out with them. All right. You know, if you feel that way, maybe we should just withdraw from the contest. What? And then I'll put you in a FedEx package and mail you back to whatever tree you came from. Sound good? Devil much? Dave calls the house, finds out his boys are entrusted to danger prone Toby, and is rightfully terrified. Then Simon gets tricked into taking on the fake role of litter monitor and gets humiliated. And what does Alvin do about it? Okay, I am a total jerk. I admit it. So are we cool now? I've been wanting to do that to someone since I started watching this movie. That's why I'm giving you the Alvin guarantee that I will be at that sing-off Friday night. That's code for I ain't showing up. You have a what? A football game! <laughs> well, isn't this adorable? And pointless. Hi, Toby. Well, isn't this adorable? We get a and talk? pointless. Bye. So Alvin uses his tiny size to his advantage and wins his football game. But instead of going to the sing-off, he goes to an after-game celebration. What a shock! So the chipettes perform while touching themselves a lot, and the chipmunks lose the sing-off by default because Alvin is nowhere to be seen. Hear that, girls? That is the sound of success. No, that's the sound of people being forced to sit through this movie. Alvin realizes that he's been a selfish jerk this whole time. And how does he redeem himself? Nice eagle. Why, by rescuing Theodore from an actual eagle at the zoo. Wow, I was wondering how they would incorporate one into this movie. I'm gonna see if I can be useless like in the rest of the movie. So they saved Theodore, Toby was completely useless and... Don't make me have to kiss you! Hey, what?! Hey! Stop that! Stop it! I'm extremely uncomfortable right now! And frankly, so am I. Let's wrap up, okay? The Chipettes finally learn that Ian is in fact the devil, and that he never intended to have them perform at the school contest in the first place. We start the contest with a bunch of dancing ninjas, the Chipettes somehow figure out Toby's cell phone number and call Alvin for help, Alvin busts them out and they escape from Ian, we get a cameo from this gopher I don't know, they make their grand entrance into the contest and perform We Are Family. Ah! Without a moment's rehearsal, win the contest, Toby gets the girl, and no one cares, and look, Dave is still in this movie. And Ian's mental health deteriorates more. THE END! Finally. Oh my gosh, it's not often that I see a movie this bad. While the first movie was by no means groundbreaking, it was tolerable if you could get past the voices. What bugs me most is the fact that throughout the movie, everyone, including the writers it seems, forgot that these were not human beings. These are talking chipmunks. Aside from that, the human characters were all shallow and lifeless, and I don't care about a single one of them, especially Toby. I have zero sympathy for this self-made man-child who refuses to do anything in his life. In fact... What you doing? I'm adding him to the Terminate After movie list. We have to get rid of him and Ian. And this time, we're gonna do it right. Okay! Hello, Ian. Remember us?